What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Michael. We're currently in the month of February, and spoiler alert, that means Black History Month. I know, I know. We're a little late to the party, given that it's, well, as of recording, the 24th of February, but it's still February, by the way. And I always say, it's never a bad time to highlight Black excellence, But if any a time to do it, it's during Black History Month. So I want to take the time to not only talk about black excellence in terms of history, but talk about it in terms of MMA history. Black people's achievement in MMA is a long and storied, well, story. (laughs) It's so long and so rich that I didn't even know where to start. But after thinking about it, I figured a good place to start is with number one. So let's go to some important firsts for black people in MMA. Now, if I were to ask you, who's the first ever black person to compete in the UFC? A lot of people would probably say Art One Glove Jimerson. But believe it or not, it's not Art One Glove Jimerson. Instead, it's Zane Frazier, who lost to Kevin Rozier at UFC 1 on November 12th, 1993. Yeah, not very well known of a fight because neither gentleman went on to be prominent in the UFC or made a lasting impression, but Zane Frazier gets the honor of being the first black man to compete in the UFC. And that's great, but what about the black champions? Who was the first black champion? And the first black champion is a guy who, again, wasn't really well known until, I would say, his Hall of Fame induction. And that is Maurice Smith, who defeated Mark Coleman in a huge upset. And another big first, too, when it comes to championships in the UFC is the first African-born champion in the UFC is the current welterweight champion of the UFC, Kamaru Usman, who defeated Tyron Woolley and has defended his title three times. So Israel Asanya missed out on being the first African-born champion in the UFC by just a little bit. But surprisingly enough for a lot of people, Neither Tyron Woodley or Kamar Usman are the first ever black welterweight champions. That honor goes to Carlos Nudin. He's also the first black Canadian UFC champion. So as a black Canadian, that made me smile. Can't lie. So I had to add it in there. (laughs) But what about our sisters, the black women? And that means we got to talk about one of the most badassiest, is that a word? Whatever. Enter Angela Hill. She's the first ever black woman to compete in the UFC, the first black woman to ever get a victory in the UFC, and is also the second black woman to headline a UFC card. The first black woman to headline a UFC card is none other than Jermaine Durandame, aka the iron lady aka gdr and on that subject gdr is also the first black woman to win a ufc championship as her headlining event was against holly holm for the featherweight championship of the world and not only did gdr win and become the first black female to win a championship she was the first ever women's featherweight champion granted she didn't defend it but still an accomplishment. Other big firsts come in the world of Bellator as the first black person to compete in Bellator is none other than Jonathan Brookins in Bellator 1 on April 3rd, 2009. And the first ever black champion in Bellator is none other than Hector Lombard. Those are some very important firsts, but it feels like something's missing. You know, it feels like we haven't mentioned enough great black fighters in the UFC and other promotions of MMA. Plus, I can already feel the comment section going, what about so-and-so? 
and you didn't mention so and so and you didn't talk about this and that don't worry we'll get to it because now we're going to talk about the guys who were impressive who were killing it in the world of mma and happen to be black but we're not exactly first so i'm talking about those prominent black figures in mma now i think no video talking about black mixed martial artists can be taken seriously if they aren't talking about anderson silva demetrius johnson john jones and daniel cormier all are held in high esteem by hardcore fans of the sport for their excellence anderson silva is considered one of the greatest of all time as he has 10 consecutive title defenses at middleweight and did it in style as he regularly displayed superior striking to that of his opponents also if you want to talk about someone who was jumping divisions anderson silva did that for fun demetrius johnson is another prominent figure as he was absolutely dominant in the flyweight division and currently holds the record for most consecutive title defenses in the ufc at 11 and in case you're keeping count that's one more than anderson silva and for demetrius johnson that's not most consecutive title defenses for a black man no no that's most consecutive title defenses period but the record for most title fight wins belongs to another black man and that's john jones who has 14 of those big title fight wins at light heavyweight and did it while having another all-time great rivalry with future ufc hall of famer daniel cormier daniel cormier by the way is the first and currently only black man to hold two ufc belts simultaneously at light heavyweight and at heavyweight other all-time black trailblazers who deserve some love are the aforementioned kamaru usman and former welterweight champion tyrone woodley those two black kings at welterweight deserve some love also let's not forget about legends like former ufc light heavyweight champions rashad evans and quinn the rampage jackson former ufc heavyweight champion the late kevin randleman current middleweight champion and star israel asanya and former lightweight champion benson henderson also that's not even to mention guys who weren't champion in the ufc but still made their mark in mma guys like knockout machines francis Ngannou, and Derek lewis former multiple welterweight title challenger josh koscheck former bellator lightweight champion will brooks friend of the light kick show shoni carter who popularized the spinning back fist by the way eve edwards who at one point was considered one of the best lightweights in the world super trainer dean thomas the late kimbo slice bob sap mr wonderful phil davis chet congo and so many more the point is the black history in mma is super super long and super rich and i want to shed some light on that because it doesn't really get talked about a lot when we think about black history month i know a lot of people talk about the african-american and black history in boxing and basketball and other sports but for whatever reason it doesn't get mentioned in mma and i guess this is one of the few videos that will and hopefully it's not the last but anyway that's pretty much it and i know we missed a lot of people we didn't get to talk about lots of guys like king mo kevin lee etc etc but who did we miss out on let us know in the comments and honestly i'd love to see all of those comments i know there's so many more fighters trainers commentators promoters that we haven't mentioned but yeah remember to like share subscribe yada 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 it does help us out and it helps out any channel you want to support and until next time remember guys stay safe